We <laughs> try it again. We are live. Hey y'all, hey, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I miss y'all. Come on in the room. Come on, come on, come on. We is here. I is here. I is here. And I is rest to lay some cards, y'all. This has been um uh, uh, what do you call it? Some weird energy. Some weird energy, some weird, some weird times, but it's all good. It's all good. Hey, y'all, hey, come on in the room. We're gonna get some messages popping. I haven't seen y'all in a while. New Moon and Taurus was last night. It's wow, it's wow, honey. It's all this energy, all this it's a lot of love though. Still a lot of love, but it's a lot of sorrow, it's a lot of grief. It's just a lot going on. It's just a lot. Come on in. Let me know how y'all feeling. Say hey. Make sure to hit the share button. I'm hitting my share button right now as we sip it. I'm starting my watch party. We're going to get some messages. Hey, Lily. Hey, 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 hey. Trying to, here we go. Found a video so I could share it. Hey, Talia. I am. Y'all know, life is just real. Spiritual partnerships is real. Maturity is real ghetto. Hey, Soror, but we got to be, you know, doing this thing. This energy is coming down. I did a, um, I did a, a video yesterday about the cosmic energy. If you guys want that video, um, cause it's, it's so heavy. It was, um, what's going on? New moon in Taurus, Pluto goes retrograde tomorrow. And then um, uh, Venus goes retrograde in, uh, on, on May 13th. And so I talked about all three. It's about an hour and a half long. It's kind of a long video, but it's so like worth it. If you want to know what's going on with energy right now, especially with this pandemic, we're still in the stay at home or stay in place or whatever it's called. I don't know. Um, it's 11-11. I don't have it posted. So just say I want the cosmic news and I'll send you the link for it. Okay. Hey, Brenda. Facel, Facel, hey. What's that on my table? Hey, Kim. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff on my table. <laughs> so make sure you guys hit the share button. Okay, let's see. Share it there. Hey, Dorita. Hey, Reese. Hey, y'all. Hey. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you guys are, um, hey, Jessica, are coming in the room to see these cards pop. Last week, I didn't get a chance to do it. It was so much going on. I had, um, my Wahita had my, what is it, hot water tank broke and so i needed to get that fixed and take care of that so that took a lot of um time and i didn't want to get started and then it was like banging and stuff in the basement <laughs> so i was like you know let's just you know call it one but i'm so happy that you guys um were patient with me and uh, everything and we are gonna rock and roll this week okay let's see is back in business okay hey donna what jessica you in england girl ah! <laughs> that just made my whole day oh my god yes i love it 
I love it so much. Oh, y'all don't know how happy that makes me. I swear. I'm finna cry every day. I already feel like all this energy that's coming. I'm definitely probably gonna cry today. But um I'm so happy. I'm happy, even in the midst of everything that's been uh going on with this energy and these cosmos and these new and full moons have been so challenging and one I um, mean Taurus last night uh challenging more challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge in our universe in our communities you know with all this stuff and so even with all of that y'all I'm still popping these cards <laughs> let me get us some smoke get my little crybaby self together all I have is water today that I've been sipping on. I need to finish. I haven't had any alcohol this week. I'm doing a alcohol sabbatical, so I haven't had any liquor this week. Because I feel like since this uh, pandemic started, I've been like a wino or something more than usual. So y'all tell me what y'all been doing uh, during this pandemic. I definitely been still working out. Workout is life. I definitely been still eating um good. But I've been drinking a little bit, so <laughs> a lot of bit. <laughs> so I gave my little self a break this week. So I won't have anything until Sunday. Four seven day detox, like uh, alcohol detox. <laughs> Because it's like, what else you going to do if you're stuck in the house? Hey, Ma. And then things are happening. My refrigerator broke. I fixed it. Well, I tried to fix it. My toilet broke. I halfway fixed that too. My car broke. I actually fixed that. I was so excited. I actually fixed my car by myself. Um, so I'm learning a lot. <laughs> I've learned a lot. It is cool. It's so cool. But yeah, this energy is really having us to um, learn how to find our balance between our freedom and our responsibility. And so with that, um, you could be feeling some restrictions. You could be feeling like you want to be free from something. Or you could be feeling like you have to be more responsible. Maybe more things are coming up for you so this new moon is crazy it's so crazy so i do have the cosmic news ready it's a longer video than um uh, usual because it's a lot going on i'm using lavender today because i just need to freaking chill out hey maddie hey v It's a lot going on. And sometimes you just need to really just like chill, right? Like just freaking chill out. So lavender is my oil of choice today. Um, let me introduce myself. Thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys who are new here. My name is Kiana Thompson. I'm the owner of Holistic Harmony, Mind, Body, and Soul, a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction and building quality, passionate relationships. And every week we do pick a card where we ask the universe a question and then we lay the cards out and we see what they say. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? If it feels good, good. If it don't, good. That's all I got to say about that. Send me lots of love, lots of energy. The more energy I receive, the better, okay? All right, breathe with me for a second. <sighs> Even in that good ass prana, baby. All right, let's pop these cards, y'all. So, two one, we're going to be asking for messages from the person um, that you're thinking about. So, hold a person in your head. And I know, with let me just say this um, I 
have been surrounded by death. And I'm a Scorpio, so this is what happens in my life anyway. But even more so now than any other time in my life. Hey, Tori. And these messages do not have to only come from a lover, okay? I know a lot of people want that, y'all. We love our love readings. I understand that. Um, so it can be a lover, but you hold someone that you love in your mind and in your heart right now as we're laying out these decks, okay? Probably why I'm crying. Somebody is really holding on to some stuff. Hey, Sylvia, someone is really, I feel it. I feel it. I feel you. So it does not have to be just a lover. It could be whoever you hold dear and it don't have to be alive. I know there's a lot of, you know, um, sorrow right now. There's a lot of grief. There's a lot of people who's losing their loved ones. I have lost a few friends. I have friends who've lost friends and family, um, you know, grandmas, mother-in-laws, moms, aunts, you know, friends, husband. So you guys hold in your mind and your heart, whoever it is that you want to hear a message from today. Probably going to be a little heavy, y'all, because I can't seem to stop crying. <laughs> so hold them in your heart, um, and we're going to get a message from um, the other side, if that's where it's coming from for you, or if um, you're holding on to, you know, someone on this side of the earth. Either way, we're going to get a message. So I just wanted to make that, put that out there. I know it's a lot going on, and we don't only have to hold the person Hey, Annette, um, that's on this side of the earth. We can get messages from the other side, too. And I know there's a lot of people transitioning. Um, and, you know, so let's just see what these cards say, all right? Hold whoever you want to hold in your heart and your head who you would like to hear a message from, okay? You guys got to work with me on this one because these messages are going to be um, for you, right? From, from who you need it to be from. So hold it. Hold the space, create the space in your heart and your mind for them to leave a message. All right, universe. What's the message from their person? Ooh, the cards are popping out right away. What's the message from their person that they're holding in their heart and their head that's dear to them? Hey, Alexi. Thank you so much. Who's the person that they're holding dear? What's the message? Okay. Y'all, these cards is popping. Hey, Monique. Lots of endings and completions coming our way. Ooh. New beginnings, which is beautiful. So, all right. Cards are being laid. Cards are popping. I'm making three pals. So you pick one, two, or three, okay? Hey, Monica. And I got cute just for y'all, y'all. I've been looking a quarantine mess. <laughs> I was like, this hair is a mess. I was like, let me put some pins in it or something. All right, universe. <laughs> What's the message from the loved one that they're holding in their head and in their heart? What? What's the message? Be sure to place your numbers into the comments when you're ready. One, two, or three. What's the message that you want the people to receive? They want to get a word from the person they're holding in their heart and in their head. What's the message, guys? What's the message? I'm using an earth deck and a flower deck because we in Taurus season and we, um, uh, uh, earth day was yesterday too. So it was a full, I mean, I'm sorry, not full. It was a new moon and it was earth day and we're in Taurus season. So what better deck to use than flowers and earth? <laughs> Taurus is ruled by Venus, all things beautiful. They usually have really beautiful homes, earthly homes. They feel warm and inviting when you go into them. You're like, oh, it's so inviting in here.
Mm, the cards are coming out. Hey, Sir Edmund. I don't even know what. They're not even flipping over. They're just popping. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Thank you guys so much for rocking and rolling. Y'all know how happy that make me. Lord, make me so happy. Wow. What the? Okay. I'm just going to take it because it's not from me. It's from your person. But it's a lot of cards falling out. Oh, these matches are gonna be something else, so just hang in there. <laughs> like this video long as I don't know what. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. The cards is popping and the messages is coming all the way out. All right, last step. Make sure you pick your numbers. Well, hey, Shakita. I try to say, hey, as y'all come in, but sometimes when, I, when I'm looking down at the cards, I don't see you. So if I don't see you, charge it to my head and not my heart. Y'all know I love y'all. Final message from the person that they're holding in their heart and their head. Final message for the from the person they're holding in their heart and their head. Final message. Final message. a lot of cars popping hey constance it's only three pounds one two or three lord all the cards are out y'all i know that was uh a lot <laughs> jesus they just popping one two and three Water is good for the soul in so many ways. Y'all ready? I see numbers. I see, hey, Rolanda. I see numbers. I see numbers. So you know what that means. Let's get it popping. A lot of freaking cards in one. I was like, I'm playing spades, all these cards. <laughs> oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. Right when I stop drinking. This is what this right when I stop drinking. This is what you do to me, one. All right. I need a clarifier, and I don't have my clarifying deck. I should have known I was gonna need a clarifier. I don't know why this fit in. I think here. Yeah. A lot of freaking cards. And I still want another card. Mm, I think this is switching. Your person wants you to know that I feel like you lost something, money, and they want you to know that you didn't lose it. Somebody stole it and that you're about to go clean, smooth the F off because you're about to find out who stole it. <sighs> One, I don't know what that's about. It's about 
I don't know what this is about. They lied to you about money and they stealing from you. Or or they owe you money and not paying you. I don't know. But y'all gonna it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. And I feel like <sighs> shit. Sorry. I don't like to cuss, but my mama be on here. <sighs> Universe, why me? <laughs> why not me as my little Virgo friend would say but you're going to find out that somebody is lying to you or stealing from you and maybe you money, it's got something to do with money though. either they owe you some money I feel like I feel like they owe you money or they Either they stole it or they owe it or they trying to get away with something with around your money and you need your money. I feel like it's like you're not in a place where you could take that lightly. Like if they owe you something for a bill and maybe they you did something with their credit or something like that. You know what I mean? Like you it's so, it, like oh, shit. It's like um you just co-sign for a car. And then they're paying for it or something like that. <sighs> or whatever. Something. They owe you. They owe you. They owe you some freaking money. They lying about it. I'm sorry. I hate sometimes. Don't shoot the messenger. But you're going to go off. <laughs> you about to snap, crackle, and pop. And so this new moon in Taurus is all about sudden changes, right? I talked about this in a video I went with my group. Um, and you can join the group too. If you're like, I don't want to buy the video, I just want to join the group. That works too. The video is there. I keep all the videos up and that link is at the top. Um, but I feel like this new moon is like volatile anyway. They're just sharp and edgy and more people be like more accidents and more arguments. I feel like this Taurus new moon is about to have you go off. Because it's going to be a sudden change with your money. You're going to find out that someone's not doing what they said they were supposed to do with the money. Someone's either stealing or, or you money and not paying you back. Maybe you found out that they went and got a new car and they owe you freaking money. You know what I mean? Hey, Aaron. But, um, <laughs> I know, right? Don't go off. Choose peace. Yeah, in this instance one, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be such an eruption. You not going to even have time to choose peace. Like, this is a volcano. This is a volcano. So we've been having a lot of eruptions and earthquakes. And this new moon is bringing more earthquakes, um, too. Tell me, y'all, y'all need to get the video. I'll talk about all this extensively. But this is a volcano. Volcanoes lay dormant sometimes for a very long time. Very long time. So they just take a lot. Take a lot, take a lot, take a lot, take a lot. Until they don't. <laughs> Until they erupt. So this is going to make your hair pop off. This going to be, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. You, you going to go off. And in this instance, I feel like it's almost like um, you need to. You need to pop off. And it's going to help you let go of a lot of anxiety. So I kind of like the pop off. Normally, I don't I don't like that somebody's stealing from you. I don't like that somebody owe you money. I don't like the that part. But I feel like because... You've taken a lot, one. You've already taken a lot. You've already dealt a lot. You've already been dormant. You know what I'm saying? And so people think they could just climb up your volcano and, you know, build a house on it and, you know, just do whatever they want to do on your volcano. And you're like, no, B, I got lava up in here. You can't just do what you want to do up in here. No, let me show you about you putting this little stupid house on my volcano, right? So, I feel like the pop-off is going to be good for you. It's going to be a, such a release. You're going to let go of anxiety. It's actually going to help you calm your nerves down. It's going to help you be calm. It's going to help you um, get back to a place where you can hear the angels talking to you, where you can hear your, your person trying to tell you what's going on. Because right now, you really can't hear. And so, they're like telling you, I think the message for you is to pop off. I know that sounds crazy. Well, I know you're like, wait, what? I know, but I'm telling you, your person wants you to go off um, because it's going to help you to let go of anxiety. And um, lavender would be a really good flower for you to have around. Also, the oil, because that's common. 
it's not a coincidence that I probably use that today. Um, once you, once you like, once you pop off, let go of the, the anxiety, express your, you know, your feelings and be okay with what happened and know that nobody can steal from you. Everything's going to work out anyway, whether it's a money or not. Hey, Brenda. Um, whether it's money or not, you know what I'm saying? It's still going to work out. Everything is for your greater good. Even the person who stole it, they're just playing their part. And so, um, and again, you can stand up in your own power and stop letting people build houses on your volcano. Let them know like, hey, I got lava. I got fire up in me, right? Um, you're going to be able to really let go of your anxiety and start tapping into your creativity, right? So maybe whatever you need for your finances is for you to tap into your creativity to create and manifest some stuff and learn how to start being very gentle with yourself and learn how to really sit inside of your self-confidence and your self-power and really get balanced i feel like once all this happens once all this you know stuff happen for you you're gonna really get balanced so it's like, you know, you got to you got to go through it. it it's got to happen. It's going to it's what it is. But it's going to help you to learn how to be really gentle with yourself. Right? And how to not let people build houses on your um very active volcano. Just because you don't want to pop off, you know, every day doesn't mean you're not active, doesn't mean you don't have self-confidence, doesn't mean you're not majestic and a magician you are, right? And so you're going to learn how to be gentle with yourself. You're going to tap into your creativity. And then you're going to just get really balanced out inside of your emotions and your self-love. So this reading for one, for you, your person really wants you to, to really stand up for yourself. And really wants you to know how beautiful you are and how confident you are. And you don't have to second guess yourself. You don't have to um worry about how you're gonna you know make ends meet how you're gonna pay this bill or that bill they want you to know that everything is divine and it's taken care of they need you to take care of you and really tap into your creativity and stop worrying so much and don't let people walk over you they don't get to come steal from you no blow up blow the up and then get back balance <laughs> And then get back balance. Hey, Tamara. Because that's what that's what your person wants you to do. Ultimately, your person wants you just to be gentle and to be balanced. And know, like, whatever this financial constraints is, this too shall pass, okay? All right, one. Y'all know y'all drive me to drinking. Come on, two. Two had a lot of cards, too. I knew y'all was going to take me out when I started crying at the beginning of the video. I knew it. <laughs> I just knew it. I'm like, this is too much energy. I'm crying. And sh All right. You got to get balanced too, too. Yeah, it's a lot of... So, like I said, this, this new moon in Taurus is bringing about a lot of change. Sudden changes. Good and bad. Some things we going to like, some things we not going to like. But for you too, I feel like... Okay, so your person is telling you to stop being petty. <laughs> stop arguing. Stop being petty. Stop fighting. Stop, you know, nitpicking, right? You don't have to fight. It's like squabbly a little bit. It's not like a, it's not like a bad fight. They're just kind of nitpicky-ish a little bit. Like, you know, just fighting a little bit. So you don't have to do that. You don't have to, you don't have to pick fights or be, or even if it's not you picking a fight, just being a part of it. People could be wanting to like argue with you, like being petty. You don't have to do that. Don't be petty. 
And I feel like it's coming because you need to rest. I feel like you're working hard. And so maybe it's squabbles are at work. Maybe it's with your, your business or your job. Like you're you're feeling uh because you work hard, you're feeling um what's the word? Uh agitated. Because you just work, 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 work. And so, like I was saying about the new moon, is find a balance between work and play, you know, freedom and responsibility. So for you, you're leaning on the responsibility side. And so you're getting agitated and overwhelmed and overworked. And so it could come with a lot of arguments, you know. Now you're just nitpicking or somebody's just nitpicking you or whatever. It's petty, just petty stuff. Not even no real are you like, what is we even are what what is that about? You got the toilet seat up. Now you mad. What's the shoe doing right here on the floor? Like, you know what I mean? Like everything is just agitating you. But these are cycles. These are cycles. So, you know, um, everything has a cycle. The moon has a cycle. You know, the earth has a cycle. Everything, every planet has a cycle. And a couple of them are stopping. Like, they're, you know, like, need a that's why they stop. They orbit and rotate, and they take a break. Pluto is going to take a break for five months, y'all. So what makes you think you could keep a whole freaking celestial body and you're a celestial body taking a break for five months it's saying you know what i'm tired <laughs> i need to rest i'm just gonna stay right here y'all go ahead and do what y'all gonna do for five months i yeah i'm just gonna stop working and so oh sorry i hit the table made the things okay so hey karen so it's a cycle you're in a cycle. You're becoming. So you got to like surrender to the changes that's happening. There's a lot of changes going to be happening. Don't fight the changes. A lot of sudden changes. Don't fight them. Okay. There that you are becoming. Um, a, it's time for you to release your fear and just trust the powerful process. You're going to, you need a break. It's time for you to take a break. Your person is saying, stop. You got so many break cards. It's not even funny. I'm like the earth card is a break card. The flower card is a break card. The energy card that came out is a break card. Babe, it's time for you to take a break. Hey, Tequila, take a break from the work, the agitation, whatever is bothering you. You need to sit still, get you some meditation, get some sleep. You're probably sleepy right now. Why go to sleep? Get some rest. I'm not sleeping good, right? Go into your meditation. Take a break. Even a whale takes a break. They don't stay down. They come up and they take a break and they breach the water. It's time for you to like breach, right? So you just come up for air for a minute and get some sunlight and some sunshine and some air, like a well. They stay down at the bottom, they swim and do all that, but they come up and take a break. And so you have to really find your work life balance. You have to balance work, rest, and play. I feel like you're not playing enough. So you need to play some more. And when you do this, when you <clears throat> remember to have fun, um while you know fulfilling your responsibilities then you're going to come up with a new idea that's going to be divinely guided yay to new ideas you can't get the new idea you can't hear what the person is saying because you won't sit your tail down so you can't hear nothing you are you just like blocking it so your person is saying, please sit down. I'm trying to talk to you. This is what your person is saying. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea for you. I got an idea for you. But you won't sit down so they can't give you the idea. Hey, Regina. So you got to sit down. So they can give you the idea so that you can um, really grasp it, get the download, and then wait in anticipation for something magical to happen with this new idea. Whatever it is, ooh, it's so good. It's juicy. Because change is in the air. Things are changing. Things are happening. And change could be scary, even if it's good. Good, bad, and different. doesn't matter. Change can be scary. It takes us out of our um, comfort zone. And so you're going to be taking out of your comfort zone, but in such a great way. And so your idea is going to be divinely guided. You're going to get this new idea. It's going to be divinely guided. And it's meant for you to share with others. But you have to first sit still and balance yourself out. Hey, Gloria. 
because something wonderful is happening. Your person wants you to know something great and wonderful is happening. Everything has a cycle, so this too shall pass. But you have to get into a space of um, rest for you. This is rest. You need to be resting. You got <laughs> three rest cards and three different decks. <laughs> Clearly, your person is like, go to sleep. Um... But taking a break, I feel like, and meditating and taking a break, getting you some rest. You could be having dreams. They could come talk to you in your dreams through your meditation, through, you know, um, prayer, things like that. So it's asking you to really get grounded um, and really sit still and get some rest. And, you know, all the agitation and squabbles and stuff like that, once you get your balance, um, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So your person wants you to take a break so they can talk to you. They want to talk to you. I feel like they like they don't even want me to talk to you. They like, look, tell her to go to sleep or him. Go night night. And I'ma come see you tonight. So go night night. And your person gonna come see you and talk to you. So that's that for you too. Hoochie. Last but not least. <sighs> yes, Soro, set down somewhere. <laughs> okay, three. That just made me happy. Ooh. So you got two of the same cards from two different decks. Y'all people want to talk to y'all. When you get the same card um, from different decks, the message is amplified. They really want you to get this and understand this. You got a person in here too. You got two people. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm trying to see who this energy that's coming in this this feel like love this feel like a um okay i'm sorry three i want to get a clarify y'all know i don't have my deck give me one second Okay, sorry. I had to get it because I this I gotta see what this is real quick. Can I get a card for the uh Knight of Cups? I feel like it's a person, I feel like it's love coming. But I want to make sure before I say that. I feel like they want to tell you um something about this. Can I have a card for the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups. I have a card for the Knight of Cups. Hey, Charlie. Ooh. The universe, I want me to get it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I th Oh, yeah. Two fours. Okay, so I think, like, your person wants you to know that romance is coming like love is coming yours is a little different and if you already are partnered there this this so this is a water energy so this person could be um scorpio cancer or pisces does not have to be but could just be any chart somewhere but the knight of cups is one of my actually one of the only nights that i like <clears throat> um I feel like your person wants you to know that love is coming after so much healing. Or you'll be moving in with this person. 
you're on a quest. Like you got the quest card twice, which is weird. And this is a powerful card. The quest, the desert card is a powerful card. This means that you're, you're not just on a journey. You know, a journey means like you're going somewhere, you're trying to figure it out, you're on a spiritual path. A quest is like you are, you have a mission and you know your mission and you have to complete this mission. You know what I mean? It's not a fly, it's not a figure out as you go type of thing. This is like, this is like the night you know what I'm okay. So it's like a like a night. Okay, so like medieval times, right? The knight would be on a quest to go save the princess, right? This is that. This is that type of thing. So he had a, a goal in mind. He was going to save somebody. And so this is how I feel like you are on a quest. And maybe um you tired of it. <laughs> You're tired of the freaking quest. You're like, I'm over it. I want to I wanna just be done with it. I want to just sleep. And I feel like, oh, okay. I feel like this night, I feel like it's going to be like a true love kiss. Oh, I love love. Even though love is like getting on my nerve. I love love. I feel like this quest. It almost feels like Sleeping Beauty. I don't know why. I don't know why fairy tales are coming to my head. But this is how the universe is talking to me right now. Um, I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's like a true love's kiss coming up. The Knight of Cups is very romantic. And you got the Four of Swords. Normally, Four of Swords is like meditation, sleep, right? And then somehow this quest is making me feel like slaying dragons and... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know why I feel like this, but you gonna be kissing somebody. <laughs> I don't know. It's what the universe is saying. You're gonna be um having true love's kiss. I feel like this is gonna be so magical. Ooh. They they said you a lot of magic. It's a lot of love. I like it. Um and it's going to unfold. So you're on your quest. Things are going to be happening. Because you know, anytime you have a quest, there got to be stuff to happen to stop you from your quest, right? And so this new moon is all about sudden changes. So on your quest, it might be some sudden changes. It might be an extra jack dragon. Or it might be a difficult road you got to take instead of the other road. But it's going to unfold. You don't have to like do anything. You just have to go towards the light. You just have to stay on your quest. And it's going to unfold. So you don't have to, like, force anything. And if it's true love's kiss, it's just going to, it's going to be magic. It doesn't have to, you know, you know if it's not, it's like if you kiss the frog and the frog still stays a frog, right? Um, But you'll know which frog to kiss. It won't be just you out here kissing frogs, right? You're going to get your prince. Oh, oh, your princess if you're on the other side of the quest. So depending on what side of the quest, this is so cool. Thank you, universe. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Depending on what side of the quest you're on, if you're the princess or if you're the prince, I don't know. I don't know your life. But whichever side you're on, if, it, if you are the prince and you are on the quest, right, you will know which princess to kiss. You will know which sleeping beauty is for you to kiss. And you might see some more along the way. And, but you're going to just know, like, this ain't her. This ain't true love's kiss, right? And same thing with, uh, if you're on the other side, you're the princess waiting for the prince to come, fulfill his quest, right? You will know when he get there, if he's the prince, if it's the true love's kiss. Because it's just going to unfold. It's going to be magical. It's going to be very fairy tale-ish. I don't know why. <sighs> I don't know why your person is telling your story like this. Maybe when you were little, they like to tell you fairy tales. I don't know. This is the weirdest probably reading since we've been doing pick a card. But hey, I'm going with it. Um, But it's going to unfold just how it's supposed to. Just beautifully, magically. And I feel like on your quest, um, there's money involved. And there's a woman with money involved. So this could be like in fairy tale land, right? Like your fairy godmother or 
um, the good witch, right? She got money. She is very helpful and she wants to help you with your quest. She could be funding your quest. She could be the one sending you on a quest. Maybe she's the mother-in-law. Maybe she's like, hey, I need you to save my daughter. Oh my God, come through. Okay, okay, okay. She gonna be sending you on a quest. Hmm. This is so fun. I'm like, who? I'm like, who? Um, pick three. <laughs> it's going to probably sound confusing. I know. I'm sorry. This is what the universe is giving me. Don't shoot the messenger. But I feel like it's just going to simplify your life. I feel like when you get to the quest, when you get to your, your destination, when you get the true love's kiss, and all the magic, it's just going to simplify your life. I feel like you're literally going to have the fairy tale that people dream about, they talk about. And this, you know, this, your person wants this for you. And I don't know who you're holding, um, you know, in your head and your heart. If it's the lover that's telling you this, I don't know. But if it's the lover, I feel like if you're holding on to a lover in your head and you're thinking about this, I feel like they're like letting you know I'm coming. I'm on a quest. I'm slaying dragons and I'm on my way. I'm getting there. I done kissed some frogs. <laughs> they was not the right frog. <laughs> but I'm on my way. I'm following the light. I'm getting closer to you. And when you guys, you know, just relax, stop spreading yourself so thin, it's just going to change your world. And just recharge you. I feel like it's just gonna be simple. It's just gonna be a simple love. It's just gonna feel good. It's just gonna it's gonna feel magical for you and for him, or him and her, or however it go. And it's just gonna be simple, super simple, pure love. That's it. Just pure love, y'all. <sighs> oh, they on a quest for you. And your person wants you to know this. It's so beautiful. It's so divine. Don't worry. Be bold in this quest. And you know what I keep seeing too? I'm seeing in my head. Um, because it's, it's a, this is a two-way street. So the be bold is just not for the person that's on the quest. It's for the person at the end of the quest too. So what I keep seeing is Fiona. Remember how she was like real feisty or whatever? Like she was a princess, but she wasn't wait, really waiting for nobody to like come get her or whatever, right? She was real feisty. Like, what is you doing here? And even Tangle, like Tangle like beat the guy up. Like he thought he was saving her. She was like, what? I'm going to kick your butt. Like... <laughs> Not like a damsel in distress type of thing, right? So be bold on whichever end you're on. Be bold in, in this, you know, quest as you guys are coming together. And, you know, because mighty forces will aid you and in bringing you closer together to each other. The quest is all, I feel like it's going to be over soon. Um, Take action. Good luck favors the brave. So you got to be brave. <sighs> Yes, it's for three. You gotta be brave, guys, on your quest. Whether you have to, whether you're the prince or the princess, you gotta be brave, okay? And let it unfold. And be looking out for the person that's gonna be, you know, uh helping you on this quest. Helping you with this. It's gonna be weird. I don't know. This is weird, but <laughs> I'm digging it. <laughs> I'm digging it, y'all. So I don't know who needs love, but this was definitely the weirdest love reading um, ever. But know that, you know, love is, is coming. Be bold. Whichever, whichever side you're on is coming. It's going to be all good. True love's kiss is going to be real beautiful. And when y'all get y'all true love's kiss, can y'all let me know? What is this love mess? <laughs> I promise you, I don't know, but true love's kiss, y'all. I'm just telling you what I know. So, I was not on last week, guys. So, if you have any 
questions that you want to ask me, um, go ahead and ask anything general, not cosmic. Like it's either one. No, you need to get a reading. <laughs> um, but general questions, please feel free to ask me any questions right now. I'll stay on for a few more minutes. <sighs> These were some weird, heavy readings today. And normally I talk in music, right? I'm always singing, I always feel a song. But today was in fairy tales. I think I saw uh, Beauty and the Beast. Um, I saw Sleeping Beauty. Um, Tangled. And Shrek. Those are the ones that were coming to me. So you might need to watch some of those. see no questions you guys good hey monique got it till you come in of course lexi you can get a private read <laughs> yes kim i'm trying to tell you true love's kisses every three just made my heart so happy i'm gonna rewatch it so i can pick three <laughs> I'm be like three. <laughs> How you confused? You picked one. You not confused, girl. Bad. You hard headed. Confused? No. Where is one at? Was this one? Oh yeah. You not confused. <laughs> I know, Shakita, she playing. <laughs> you is not confused. So, yeah, okay. I don't see no questions, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for coming in, rocking and rolling. I'm going to wait like two more minutes. Um, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> So you've been in relationship conversations all week, Shakita? Okay. You had to decline the job. Okay. What number did you pick to marry? Did you pick one, two, or three? Oh, did you pick one? One was about money. Yeah, this these uh, energies that's coming in is definitely going to be um, moving us forward in relationships and business. So anything that doesn't serve us is falling away. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about them different too. You like them? I still don't like them. <laughs> I love them. I love them so much, but they stupid. Yeah, that makes sense. I figured you picked one when you said uh, money. Turn down the job. That makes sense. Yeah, so you're going you gonna to have to just relax and be gentle with yourself and tap into that creativity because it it's probably meant for you to create and manifest your own money and not be dependent on somebody else's. You know what I mean? Paying you for your skill set when you can create use your skill set to create abundance for yourself. Yeah, I don't know about this love thing. I love love so much and I just in romance so much, but it just seems to be fleeing in my life. I don't know why. And I think, like, I know a big part of it is because I have such a huge quest myself, have such a huge mission um, to heal that it, it takes a different type of man to be able to nurture me and love me, right? And understand my life. I get calls at all times of the night. You know, I, I, I run groups and people in my group message me and, you know, I am, you know, so it's just like a different type of, different type of thing. And so sometimes men don't understand that because 
you know, I make space. I try to make space for them, just for them, carve out space. But it can be a bit intimidating to some. So it takes a different type of man, a different type of like, you know, confidence, I guess, or um, even spirituality, even if they don't know they're spiritual, because I, I actually talked to a guy who he's not, he's not into nothing that I do, right? But he's so freaking spiritual. He's on his own, you know, journey of spiritual end. So... <laughs> So it makes sense, right? But you gotta be, you gotta have some type of grounding to be able to deal with a cosmic being such as myself, who's also who's a healer. You know, it's one thing to be a cosmic being; it's nothing to be a healer because then you are responsible for not just your soul, but a lot of other souls. And so, yeah, love is fleeting for me. So I love to do love readings for you guys. I love when love comes up. I love love. I love partnership. I'm actually teaching about spiritual partnerships inside of um, the coaching group right now. We're working on spiritual partnerships. <clears throat> we do series in there and we also do um, meditation. We do, we do everything. We do manifestation projects, activities. We do um, new moon rituals. We did that last night for the new moon. Um... I do everything in there. I give, we have a card every day. I do a card, not a full reading. But we just do a card, you know, for the day. Hey, hey welcome back. Um, so, so yeah, so that's a great place to be to get a lot of grounding work, spirituality work done, energy work inside of there. And that's uh twenty dollars. It's on. It's been on sale for a minute. I think I'm. I'm gonna close it out soon, though. I don't know when, but cause I just been <laughs> the pandemic got me like yeah. Um, but I am gonna close it out soon. But not close it out, but raise the price back to its regular price. So right now it's just twenty dollars a month, and you get so much. The value of it is exponential for twenty dollars a month. It's not nearly enough <laughs> but i want people to get this work so uh both my branding coaches are like no nah, b we gotta raise that price and i'm like nope i won't do it um is i want y'all to get this work i don't do this um for the money per se you know what i mean i gotta eat but i want people to get this work i'm a healer so this is what we do so twenty dollars a month you get in the group, you get the um, healing. I also have a card membership. The card readings are $60 on membership. So each read is $60. And I do the membership quarterly. So you get one read every quarter, not every month. Some people think like, oh, every month. No, 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 no. Every quarter you get a reading and it's $60. Um, if you just want one reading, Kiana, I don't want to be on your little membership. I just want a reading. I need a word. I get people who want to do it once a year. Um, faithfully, they come get a reading for their birthday or new year or whatever is $75 just for the one read and all of those links are available I am working on my YouTube channel I need to work hard on that y'all um, <laughs> my brain and coach is gonna yeah tear me a new hole um but so you guys make sure you go over there and like the page because the more subscribers I have then um I can um, go live and I want to be able to go live. I think I go live now, but not from my phone or something. I got to use a computer. I don't know. It's something weird. You got to have so many subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and then that helps fund the channel for me to keep doing the lives free because then I could get compensated from YouTube. So <sighs> lots of work going on, y'all. Lots of work going on, but I love every minute of it. Okay. Hey, Xavier. Yes, I have a card deck. Thank you so much, Talia. She be on me. My little Virgo friend don't play with me. I have a card deck. Um, it's affirmations. It's all about things that I've said. Hey, Indira. So it's like, you know, what would Kiana say? Or what Kiana said? Or Kiana-isms. I haven't decided what I'm going to name it yet. But it's done. It's finished. Um, and it is ready for pre-sale. 
I'm so happy about this deck, y'all. Um, <clears throat> it was a long time coming. I want to be able to work with my own decks. I have more decks coming, but this one is my first one. This is my little baby. Um, it's about the size of, it's not even about, it is the size of this deck. It's 66 cards because that's my favorite number is six. I was born on the sixth day. It's my favorite number. So it's 66 cards in the deck. All are beautiful photos of myself and um, family, friends, stuff like that. Different stuff. Just different fun stuff. Nature. A lot of pictures I took in nature. So they're all like photographs and they all have different saying to uplift, inspire, um, and some just to make you laugh, right? I'm, I'm a goofball, so um, <clears throat> some are serious, some are fun, some are sad. It's just a mixture. It's like really good. I think it's like a great affirmation deck. And so if you are a reader, this would be a great deck for you. Or if you just need a word, it would be a great deck for you. It makes a great gift. You could pass them out. You could do all type of things with it with the deck so those are for pre-sale and i will have that link up on my page very soon <laughs> oh um they're going to be 11 11 11 dollars and 11 cent i think or 12 dollars and 12 cent i don't know yet i'm working on it <laughs> i gotta figure out which number i want right it's crazy um but those are going to be up for sale. I'm going to pre-sell them for 30 days. That's my plan, to pre-sell them for 30 days um, and then get them all out to you guys. So you have to be patient because they have to be printed. So I'm going to do the pre-sale. When are we going to start this pre-sale, y'all? I got to start this pre-sale. I know. I'm I'm going to be in so much trouble because I've always been started. I've been done. But like I said, the quarantine got me y'all blah 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 oh, yeah. okay so today is let's just say friday i mean let's say saturday wait what's today friday is wait today thursday because pluto go retrograde on the 25th i think that would be a good day when pluto uh goes retrograde i think so Yeah. 1117 for the price month. I like that too. I see 1117 a lot actually. 1616. <laughs> yes. Yes, Monica. I love y'all. Y'all like no. And y'all raising my price. <laughs> Saturday. Okay. So we're in the new moon energy plus Pluto goes retrograde on Saturday. I will have the link first thing Saturday morning for pre-orders. And I will decide. I like the numbers I'm seeing. 16, 16, 11, 17. We're going to figure it out. It won't be more than that though. Um, It's not, you know. I want, again, I want everybody to be able to get it. I have to sell. So this is the, this is the tricky part. I need to have 270 pre-orders, y'all. <laughs> In 30 days. So that's a little tricky. That's a little tricky for me. But I think I know we can do it, right? <sighs> makes my heart sing. And it makes it a little scared. But, okay. Pluto goes retrograde on the 25th. The card deck will be ready for pre-order on the 25th. I have the link for you to click, click, boom, by then. So you're literally going to have me in your pocket. Oh, I am working on my app too. That's a whole nother monster beast. Because I want you guys to have me in your pocket. So the card deck will be a good start. <laughs> of having me in your pocket. Hey, Diane. The days are going so weird. Like, it's, time is moving fast. We're already at the end of April, just about. But it is feels like it's not. Even though it is. It feels like it's not. Right? 
All right, guys, I'm going to talk to y'all ears off. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for all your support of coming in, sharing this video, rock and rolling. Y'all, I, I can't even explain without crying how much that means to me, okay? Thank you guys so much. I love y'all to life. I'll see y'all next week. Peace out.